How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the node.clone node method in the JavaScript document object model. So this clone node method allows you to make a copy or a clone of another node. So we're going to see how this works by using an unordered list as an example. So let's make a new unordered list here in HTML and give an ID of my list. We'll make some, um, some list items here. Let's make a few, so let's just say one could be apples, one can be bananas, and one can be pears. Alright, so using the node.clone node method, we're going to make a copy of bananas and then add that back to the end of this list. Alright, so first, we need to actually get a reference to the unordered list parent element. So, let's make a new constant down here called my list equal to document dot get element by ID my list all right so now bananas is the second element in this list at index one so it goes zero one two right okay does that mean so we can use the uh, what's it called node dot children uh, property to get a list of these and then get the the second one, the bananas one. All right, so let's make a new uh, constant here called list children equal to my list dot children. All right, so the bananas list item is going to be the second item or the the first index. So let's say uh, let's make a new constant here once again called bananas item bananas item equal to list children at index one. All right, let's now just log out bananas item to see what we actually get in the console. So we'll save this, go in the browser and then refresh and we get bananas, perfect. So now we can actually use this constant bananas item to make a clone of this node. All right, so let's make a new constant just below here called bananas copy equal to bananas item dot clone node and that's all it is so now bananas copy is a duplicate of bananas item so this means we can then go down here and say my list dot append child and pass in bananas copy and that will append bananas copy onto the bottom of this list so we'll save this one go in the browser and then refresh and we get nothing but the actual list item is still there so in the elements here we can see that we actually have a fourth list item with no content that's because this bananas item actually has a text node inside it and a text node is obviously a type of node now the clone node method does not include the child nodes by default. So this list item has one child node, that being the actual text node bananas. This isn't being copied. So this clone node method actually takes in a, a single argument and that one will be whether or not the clone is deep or not. So is deep or not. So a deep clone includes all of the children so now if I type in true into here we're saying this is going to be a deep clone so if we save this one and try now we should see bananas perfect all right and that is how you can use the node.clone node method in JavaScript thank you for watching and I'll see you later